Hello friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome to a new series on SQLite. In this first tutorial, we're going to download and set up SQLite on a Windows computer. Let's open up your favorite browser and then using your favorite search engine, let's search for SQLite download. S-Q-L-I-T-E download. Click on the SQLite download page option and then scroll down till we get to the pre-compiled binaries for Windows. I'm running a 64-bit Windows system, so I'm going to download the 64-bit version. Click and download. And I'm also going to download a bundle of command line tools for managing SQLite databases. Click on that one as well. well let's back up. The next thing we're going to download is a JDBC driver for SQLite that will allow us to connect to a SQLite database using JDBC in Java. Let's type Maven repository. Click enter and click on the first option, Maven repository. And then in the search bar, we'll type SQLite JDBC. S-Q-L-I-T-E JDBC. Enter. Choose the first option, SQLite JDBC. And I'm going to download version 3.36.0.3, so click on that. And here I'm going to just click on the jar and download the jar for Serial SQLite JDBC driver. That's it for our downloads. Next, I'm going to move all of the files that we just downloaded to a permanent folder on my computer system. So let's open up File Explorer, go to our Downloads folder, select all three files that we just downloaded, right click and cut. Now we'll go to the folder where we're going to store these permanently. And on my computer, it's under my Development Folder, Programs, SQLite. So right click and paste. And now they are permanently stored on that location. Since the first two files that we downloaded are zip files, I'm going to unzip those. And I'm going to use a program called 7-Zip. You can use 7-Zip or you can use WinZip or whatever you have. Let's double click to open it. Then I'm simply going to take these two files and drag them to this folder. And let's do the same thing for the tools. The three files, drag and drop. The next thing that we're going to do is to modify the path environment variable so that it includes the SQLite folder that we've just created and moved all of our programs to. Let's click in our address bar, copy that, and you do the same wherever you've downloaded and stored your files. Go to the search bar in Windows and type environment, ENV, that should be enough, and we edit the environment variables for your account. Let's click on Path and Edit, and then click New to put a new entry. And here we'll paste the folder location for SQLite. And I'm just going to move that up to the top, and then click OK and OK one more time. And now to test that, let's go again to our search and type Command, CMD, and hit Enter. And that command prompt window is opened up. And if our path was successfully modified, we should be able to type SQLite 3 at this location, SQLite 3, and enter. And this is our SQLite command line program. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future content when I release new videos. Once again, thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it as always. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.